the lighthouse keeper has a spare key hidden around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Where on earth is it? I think we should split up so that we can we can look faster. Great idea. Quick, we need to find it. Their life, thank goodness. Do you see them, Jerica? Yeah, me too. That's the whole family. Secret Jonas, Eric, and Madison. But how did they all manage to strand a cape sorrow? I don't know how they managed to get themselves stuck in Cape Sorrow and Jerica, but we need to rescue them. They must have been there at least a day. They couldn't see any food ca food camping gear or anything. They must be freezing and hungry. Poor little Madison. I hope she is okay. You got a horse, Angelica. Can I sit behi behind you while you ride? Great. Ride down to the beach below the lighthouse, Angelica. It's opposite case Cape Sorrow. You'll need to take a take the path going past the fair landing since there's nowhere down the cliffs here. Come on, Angelica. Let's rescue my family. Okay. See Jonas fishing boat or our little motorboat anywhere. I tried to get there on my surfboat, but that's just get swept out to sea or smashed up against the cliffs. Do you think it's worth a try, Angelica? As a possible of any other choice. You got a boat, you say? Of course you have. How else would you have got here? Hurry and bring it here. I'll go ahead and try to come up with a plan in the meantime. Jalka. Are you sure it's seaworthy? It looks a bit... It, it looks to be in pretty lousy shape. And Jalka, I think it's best if you take the boat to Cape Sorrow. There's more space. The more space you have in the boat, the fewer ships you need to make to pick everyone up. Just take it easy, okay? What is around Cape Sorrow? Full of really strong currents and dangerous shallows. Plenty of ships have met their end at the Cape, and I really don't want you to join them. Good luck. Hello there, I'm Sigrid, Saku Peninsula's lighthouse keeper. Might I ask who you are? Angelica, delightful! You're here to rescue us, you say. I saw you on your way here. 
and you're a really good navigator. But your boat really... But is your boat really seaworthy? How are you feeling? How are you feeling, you ask? Considering the circumstances, everyone is doing rather well. Except for my husband, Jonas. He says he's fine, but I know he's trying to not worry me. He was in the water long after the boat went down, and he gave all the dry clothes he managed to save to Madison, so that she wouldn't freeze. His temperature is right, was right down, and even though he's stronger than a walrus, he might. What happened, you ask? Well, you must have taken Madison out on a fishing trip. But when they were on their way home, Jonas stirred a little close to Cape Sorrow. He knows how dangerous the water here is here. But he ran up more to show Madison one of his favorite cliffs. It was pretty stupid of him, but he meant well. The fishing boat ran around aground and sank almost immediately. But Jonas managed to swim ashore with Madison. I saw it happen off our loud house, so I ran down to the farm. Got Eric and together we took our boat to Cape Sour as quickly as we could. But sad Eric Eric also managed to run aground. Jonas had to throw himself in the into the water to save us. He got us onto the shore, but I think it was too much, even for my lovely brave husband. I don't think there's any danger to my Jonas, but maybe you could take a look at him. Hello. I'm almost back back on my feet again. No worries. Tell Sigra that she, she doesn't have to worry. How does Jonas seem to you and the other cat? He says everything is fine. He said that to me as well. Do you believe him? No. I don't either. You don't want to marry me, so he's just saying he feels okay. You think he's quite seriously sick? Oh no. Um. Angelica, take your horse back to Holly right away. The rest of us can come here for a little while longer. Don't worry. Ask Holly to take Jonas to the farm. She needs to make sure he's warm and get plenty of rest. Hurry, now. Hi, Angelica. Every, everyone's fine, you say? That's a rel relief to hear. But how's Jonas? Jonas, are you alright? So you could ask me to take him straight back to the farm, you say? Absolutely. We'll get up there as fast as we can. Will you be alright getting the others on your own, Angelica? Great. Jonas, can you hear me? Put your weight on me and we'll go back to the farm so you can rest. See you up at the farm soon, Angelica. Good luck. How did you go with Jonas? How you took him straight up to the farm, you say? Good. Everything should turn out fine then. As long as my Jonas gets to warm up and have a little rest, he should be fine in no time. Eric Madison, listen now. This is Angelica. She is here to rescue us. Get Get in her boat. Then she can take us back. <coughs> <coughs> so that she can take us back to South of Peninsula. Everything will be fine. The boat is safe and you don't need to worry, okay? Hurry along now. There we go then, Angelica. We're ready to head back to South of Peninsula. Grand careful. Promise? Eric Madison, hurry, hurry home now. Go at once. You need to get warm and have some food. Hurry along now. Angelica, thank you so much. If it wasn't for you, I'm not sure we would have made it, if I'm honest. I'm so worried about my home, Angelica. What if he's seriously ill? I need to hurry back to the farm. Can I sit behind your horse, you see? I haven't ridden, ridden very much, Angelica. It should be okay. Oh. Thank you. To the farm. Home, a 
at last. I never appreciated getting home as much as this time. Thanks for the ride, Jonica. Now I need to check on my Jonas. Jonas seems to be feeling better already, Angelica. Some food and he seems to have done the trick. I keep an eye on him in the future. No more adventures at sea. Angelica, my Jonas tells me he would love to thank you in person. Go talk to him. Not for long. He needs his rest. Hello there, Angelica. <coughs> that was your name, right? Wasn't it? It's a lovely name, if you don't mind me saying so. Y'all, you have to excuse why I'm incredibly retired. Quite enough adventure for one day, wouldn't you say? Maybe we can talk a little more tomorrow, Angelica. Great. See you in the morning. Y'all. So we are back and let's see what Jonas has for us today. Hello again Angelica. Lovely day, isn't it? Yesterday was a little more dramatic, wouldn't you say? I lost my fishing boat, almost drowned and then very nearly froze to death. Got, got plenty done, I say, haha. <laughs> ah uh, well, mustn't grumble. We, we are all still here unhealthy. And with a new friend to boot. I mean, of course, Angelica, many thanks for all you have done. Now that I think about it, it was a rather good day in the end. My fishing boat? Ah, no. It's on the seabed now, running away amongst the crabs and seaweed. I started to get a little bit fed up of all the fishing though, and it feels like this might be a bit of a sign to try something new. Can't do the same thing every day for your life now, can you until the cup? Perhaps a few more visitors might start coming to Southwood Peninsula soon, don't you think? I was thinking about maybe opening some kind of shop here. That'll work, wouldn't it Angelica? You think a store sounds like a good idea? Excellent news, Angelica. Then I suppose it's time to put fishing behind me and set a new course of a ca ca career as a businessman. Feels good. Don't you think you could help me get started, Angelica? Sirid says I still need rest. If she sees me doing anything other than taking it easy, she'll go crazy. You'll help, oh Angelica, you're a lifesaver. I know there are some boxes of clothes, horse equipment and other odd and ends hanging around the farm someplace. No one here is interested in them, but it's actually pretty, pretty nice stuff and I think people would buy it. If you could find the boxes and bring them here, I think you might have something to work with. They look like... Just, they look just like the boxes I was thinking of. Where'd it work, Angelica? You, would you mind helping me a little more, Angelica? If I start working now, Cyril will make my life a misery. You can count on that. You'll help. That's the spirit, Angelica. Thanks. If you could open up the box, uh, box and set them over there, it would be a few posts and some material in there as well. If I set up Set it all up, it could well start look like some kind of shop. It's going to be really nice. Hey, that looks great, Angelica. Hmm, I just thought of something, Angelica. I don't think I want to be in the store selling this the whole time. It don't seem particularly rewarding to just stand there and wait for people to turn up. Nope. We'll have to t think of something else. Hmm. I think we've got people around here a decent type. No thieves in this neck of the woods. Sorry. Click too fast. But yeah. Continue talking about that. Uh, 
Hey, he said the box is out next to the shops. Then we're all done. Well, just look at that Angelica. What a lovely, sh lovely, what lovely shops we have. Really lovely. Now we just have to hope someone wants to come and buy things from them. Thanks for everything, Angelica. I looked through a box and found this. I think it will suit you perfectly. Thanks again. I hope we will see each other again soon, Angelica. Hi, Angelica. I hope you'll be able to catch up before you roll off. Thanks so much for all your help. I don't know what I would have done if you didn't turn up and save everyone. Have you met my husband Eric, by the way? You only saw each other very briefly at Cape Sorrow. Hi Angelica. Like Holly said, I'm Eric. Thanks for saving us. I was really frightened out there in Cape Sorrow. But I tried to put a brave put on a brave face for Madison. Now though, I'm mostly angry. This would never have happened if it wasn't for my stupid father. As long as nobody other than him gets in trouble and his little adventures, then I don't care so much. But this time he put my daughter Madison in harm's way. He's taken it too far now. I don't know what I'm going to do, but things can't carry on like this. I'm sorry, Angelica. I won't drag you into our family conflicts. Thanks again. I hope to see you again. And all this has calmed down. I found who we should talk with. We should go here talk with Sir, not with Manson. But yeah, whatever. Good day to you, Angelica. If I understand correctly, you have already been inside the lighthouse, otherwise I would gladly give you a tour. Might you have some time to help me out with one more thing? It's to do with the ferry that used to run between South Hook Peninsula and Fort Pinta. I'd love to see you going again. What if... and another... What if and another accident happen? You'll be able to connect with the mainland in a hurry in that case. I don't know who to talk to in the mainland, but perhaps James in Fort Pinter can help you. I don't know him, but apparently he is the one who calls the shots over there. You're not sure James is the right person to talk to, but you're happy to try help anyway, you see. Thanks, Angelica. I hope to see you again sometime. There's going to be some big bugs to make here, Angelica. Now you and other tourists can come here as often as you like. I take a boat back that you borrowed, you know, you was only alone, right? Yes, I know that. 
Is that all the things you get for helping her? Of course not, Angelica. Yeah, take one of. Here's a term of appreciation. I did show you to remind you of your adventures at South Hill Peninsula. I think about sending them to the tourist. They sell like hot cakes, don't you think? Sierra and Angelica. 